welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Friday, February 18th, and I thought it would be the perfect day to film a vlog and bring y'all along with me throughout my day. I will show you what I'm eating, what I'm getting up to, what I'm working on, and I think it's just gonna be a busy, eventful day. So, why not bring y'all along with me? I just got up, did my hair, did my makeup, so I look a little bit put together, and now I think we're gonna get some coffee and I've gotta get started on my day. I wanna be productive. Let's get to it. coffee is made and now I am going to sip on this and do a little bit of a kitchen cleanup. Our kitchen is a hot mess and a half right now. We cooked a lot the last couple of days and I have neglected dishes a little bit. I hate doing dishes so much. So we're going to do a little kitchen cleanup before I start filming for the day just so I don't have, you know, every dish in my house dirty by the end of today. Cheers to that. Let's get to cleaning. Searching for something that ain't lost. Have a God. Got all of the dishes done, cleaned the sink, and I'm feeling a whole lot better. If anyone has any tips of how to get like the stains out of porcelain, I have been unsuccessful. So if anyone has like a secret product they want to share, please, please, please let me know. But it looks a million times better. I'm going out of town in the morning with my mom to a wedding in Louisiana and at like 10 o'clock last night I realized that I had nothing to wear. So I got on Amazon, clicked the little box that was like can be delivered overnight and there was like 12 options to choose from but I picked up two dresses and I need your opinions of which one I should wear. I mean that is if they both fit. So, we're about to do a little try on of these Amazon dresses. And y'all will have to comment and let me know which one you think is better. Okay, just threw on dress number one. First off, it does fit. I can't decide if I really like these little ruffles that are going on in the front. It looks kind of interesting. But, here's the back. It does fit, so that's a major plus dress number one. I do also like that it has this little clasp right here so I'm not like hello but dress number one. Just throw on dress number two and I think first impression I like this one better. It has these like sheer sleeves with these like floral embroidery down it. What do you think? Is it cute? Is it appropriate for a wedding with some like black heels? Not gonna lie, sleeves are a little bit scratchy, but it's cute. I feel like it, what do you think? Which one, dress number one or this one? Okay, okay, let me know down below. Does a little Rudy Rabbit want a treat? Oh yeah. You want a strawberry? You want a strawberry? Mmm. It is currently 1.16 in the afternoon, and I'm about to eat my first meal of the day. So normally, I don't eat bagels very often because they are kind of high in carbs, but I just filmed this breakfast bagel sandwich for my little Facebook page, and I don't want to let this go to waste. So basically what it is is a Dave's Killer Bread epic everything bagel with some avocado spread on each half of the bread, an egg, a little bit of Colby Jack cheese, 
and some fried ham. It looks really pretty, but I guess I'm gonna probably have like two large meals today since it's 1.15 and I'm eating at my first meal of the day. So let's give it a taste test, see how it goes. That is delicious. That is delicious. That bagel was phenomenal. 10 out of 10, delicious. And now I'm going to challenge myself to sit here and drink these 20 ounces of water while I work on editing this little breakfast bagel video that I just made. In fact, drank my water. I got my little video edited for Facebook. If you want to see this video, you got to go check it out on my grilling Facebook page. But checking things off the to-do list. Up next, I have another little video I need to film for my grilling page. Since I'm going to be gone this weekend, I'm trying to get all of my content done so that I can enjoy the quick little trip without having to worry about filming anything while I'm on the road. I am pleased to report that little Cooper is feeling back to normal. His poop is normal after he had bloody poop last week. Got him all fixed up. He's feeling like a brand new man. First off, look at the lighting in this laundry room. It is beautiful. How come I have not discovered that until now? But I just finished filming my second recipe, which are these 110 calorie Funfetti ice cream sandwiches. Super fun recipe, super easy. You can also find it on my Girl Gone Grilling Facebook page. But yeah, I just had to share. They're so cute and they're delicious. Not gonna lie, I had to try a bite, of course. The chickens have been out here making all kinds of ruckus. I'm sure someone has laid an egg or something, but I just decided to throw on my shoes and we're gonna go say hi to the birds before I let them out later this afternoon. They all think I'm letting them out, which I'm not at this moment. No, no, no. <laughs> Move, I just wanna come and, okay. Uh, no, go, go, go. Okay, I might need two hands for this. Give us a good crow, Blackbeard. Go for it, this is your time to shine. Oh, beautiful, beautiful bird. He's so pretty. Look at old Blackbeard. Cody came into my office and told me he was coming out to run a couple of errands and I decided to tag along as did the pepperonis. So we have Cooper right here and we got Bo right there. Basically the dogs sometimes decide that if we like put on our shoes that they're coming with us and they push their way out the door. So since we were going places we could bring them they came along, <laughs> but we're at Kroger getting some gas in my truck because this is the cheapest place to fuel up. We got to run by tractor supply and pick up some dog food. And I'm really not even sure where Cody's going, but I needed the dog food for tonight. So that's, that's the major stop that I came for. <music> I guess I will come let y'all outside, little birdies. Y'all wanna come play for 30, 45 minutes until the sun goes down? Come on out, little birds. Come on. So many birds, so many birds. Meow. This is one of my absolute favorite things about this property and one of the main reasons I wanted to buy it. I get to watch the sunset every night and enjoy these beautiful views. Of course, the phone doesn't know justice, but it is absolutely incredible out here tonight. It is dinner time. Cody is at our neighbor's house tonight. They have a couple of people over and they are doing a bourbon tasting. I decided to stay home for that really fun occasion. And when I was at HEB the other day, I found this garlic pesto saute. So these are normally like six bucks. I would never pay six bucks for some chopped veggies in a container, but they were marked down to like a dollar 40. So I had to pick one up. Basically it is 
zucchini, yellow squash, broccoli, grape tomatoes, bell pepper, and onion, and then it comes with a garlic pesto sauce. So I'm about to saute up these veggies, and the only protein I have cooked in my fridge are these ribs. I smoked these on the smoker a couple of days ago, so I'm gonna eat my leftover ribs with my garlic pesto veggie saute. Basically, all it says is heat up some oil, dump this stuff in, Cook it for like five minutes, add your sauce, cook it a little longer, and you're good to go. Let's get started. The container recommends canola oil. I will not be doing that. I am adding in some avocado oil to my skillet to let it start heating up. Adding in these veggies. I'm just gonna let them cook. Ooh, the veggies are looking good. And the final step is to add in my pesto sauce. And here we have my fancy schmancy dinner. We got our vegetables and we have some cold pork ribs. Not gonna lie, I'm about to sit here and pick at this like a little rat. I don't like to reheat my ribs, I'd prefer to eat them cold. And I don't like fat on ribs. So I'm about to sit here and just eat like this and hope no one walks in the door and sees me being a ravenous gal. Let's see what this saute tastes like. Ooh, that's good. Whatever pesto sauce they put on it. Delicious. I definitely do not cook gourmet meals every meal. This is a lot more like it. Healthy, getting in my veggies, nothing fancy, but it does the trick. While I was eating, I came to the realization that we were, in fact, leaving tomorrow morning and I needed to be ready to go to this wedding when we leave at like 9 a.m. So I just pulled out everything I need. We're only gone for one night. We're going to drive the like four hours there, check into a hotel, go to a wedding, and then probably get up and drive the three or four hours back home. So I really don't need much. I cannot decide on what kind of shoe will go with this dress. I'm bringing both just in case. But I have this pair of black heels, and then there's this one, which has a little bit of a peep toe. And the problem with that is I've not had my toenails painted in months. They're probably looking rough. So there's this heel, and then I have these little booties right here. I don't have many black heels. I don't wear heels, but flats would not look good with that dress. Do y'all think any of these might work, or am I just SOL? I am not a fashion guru, <laughs> and by any means, I prefer to live in uh, leggings. But yeah, everything is ready. Just need to throw it in a suitcase in the morning with some makeup and toiletries. We'll be good to go. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. It is about 10 o'clock now, and I am still wanting to self-tan my body before the wedding tomorrow because I don't want to blind anyone with my ghosty ghost legs because I am pale right now. For someone who is supposed to be half Cuban, I do not hold on to my tan well. <laughs> I am pale. So we're going to fix that with the help of some self tanner. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the day today. It was a fun day to take y'all along. I feel like I was productive, got a lot done. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.